So I have the Oral-V app on my phone now. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting the app because the QR code on the box didn't take me to the app store. It took me to the front page of the Oral-V website. I couldn't find the app on the website and I had to go and look for it in the Play Store myself. I wasn't sure that I got the right version of the app at first because uh, the 8000 toothbrush isn't listed in it yet. It only goes up to the 6000 and something. Um, but it works fine. It is actually the right app. So I've configured this app twice now, once to test it was the right app. The second time I got halfway through the process, realised that the position detection only works if, it, if the camera can see your face. So I had a miniature freak out because you don't want to see me brush my teeth, that's really icky. I don't really want you to see my, <laughs> me brush my teeth because it's really icky. So um, what I've done now is I've covered the camera up on my phone with a sticker. Um, so when we get to that point in the configuration process, it won't quite work properly, but you'll get an idea of what's happening anyway. So, uh, it says, do you have an Oral-B toothbrush with Bluetooth connectivity? Yes, I do. Um, so I'll press the yes button. Press the power button to turn on your toothbrush. Well, if I look at the toothbrush, I think the power button is the top one, but it's actually pointing to the select mode button at the bottom. If you press the power button what happens is the toothbrush turns itself on, it starts whirling away and it won't sync properly. So even though it says power button you do want that bottom button. When it flashes blue that shows that it's connecting with Bluetooth. It says syncing previous sessions but that will just be from where I've turned the toothbrush off and on. I haven't actually used it yet. Um, this is the screen where you select the colour. So we've got orange, yellow, green. I don't think the camera shows up the colours as well as they look in real life. It kind of um, washes them out. I did try and take a video of them at night but it didn't actually look any better. I think it's just the quality of my camera. Green. This is supposed to be turquoise, but it looks a kind of minty green to me. Blue. Other blue. This is my favourite blue. I think it's the, uh, you can see it a bit better against the tyre actually. It's the strongest blue. It's kind of all be default colours, but it's my favourite colour too. That one's purple. Light purple. hot pink which I think is actually the strongest colour. It seems to be the brightest so it's probably my second favourite even though I'm not a lover of pink. And then a lighter pink as well. I'm going to stick with the blue. Oral B Bluetooth Smart Toothbrushes and the Oral B app will revolutionise your brushing experience. Your brush handle saves the data from your last 30 sessions so you can keep track of your progress even during those rare times you aren't connected to the app. So that's quite a lot like my fitness band. My fitness band will store 30 days worth of information so if it isn't synced with the phone then you can still use it, still recover that data which is quite good. Position detection helps you detect and recognise areas of your mouth. You're cleaning so you never miss a zone. Set up focus care and other professional guidance with your dentist to guide you in a personalised routine. I'm quite interested to see what my dentist makes of this and whether she wants to set something up. I'll be seeing her towards the end of this month or the beginning of next month, I think, so I'll be able to let you know then. Or challenge yourself with a personalised dental care journey focused on one of more one of several common oral care goals. So I guess that's probably what I'll set up for myself to use before I see the dentist. I think I will probably try the whitening one, which will go nicely with my 3D white toothpaste. Use position detection to help you brush every area of your mouth for the right amount of time. So we'll hit try position detection. 
set up your camera on the mirror to begin using position detection. So, set up camera. Place the smartphone holder at nose level in front of your face. Begin by cleaning away debris on the mirror and mount the suction. Place the mount against the mirror at nose level in front of your face. Carefully secure the mount by pressing down the lever gently. That's actually really easy to do. Pull open the mount's left arm with your free hand while inserting your phone against the right arm. Almost there, on the next screen you'll be able to align your face with the phone so our technology can track your brushing. Uh, continue to calibration. For the best position detection experience, please select the hand that you prefer to brush with. I brush with my right hand. And the screen is green at the moment because of the sticker. Um, but we'll just say continue. You're all set up. Start brushing to begin the tutorial. So I'll, if I turn the brush around and move it on, move it, if I turn the brush on and move it around, hopefully you'll be able to see um, the position detection working. It only seems to be showing me one area at the moment. <coughs> but I assume um, when it is actually working properly all these other segments will disappear too. I'm not actually sure what these segments relate to at the moment. I'm assuming that the top row is your top jaw and the bottom row is your bottom jaw, but you can see the top and bottom segments both disappeared at the same time. So um, I'm not really sure what it relates to yet. I guess it will become apparent when I actually brush my teeth. <laughs> uh, so click done. Whoops, we lost sight of you for more than 30 seconds, which means position detection result isn't available. Try to stay in view for the whole session. That's not unexpected at the moment. Uh, you brush for 59 seconds, sad face. Try for two minutes next time. Track your statistics over time. Swipe left to right to change the date. Rotate your phone to landscape to see more info about your brushing sessions. That's very similar to my fitness pal or something like that. If you turn it landscape, you can see more about the nutritional information of food. So that all makes sense, really. Um, I'll delete this session because it wasn't a real session. Get rid of that. What else have we got here then? In the settings timer. I think this is the um, screen you would normally see when you brush your teeth. And it's got information about brush heads in it and tips, and you can see weather, news, and things in here. I don't know where it gets its news from. That might be interesting to know. But I tend to wander around when I brush my teeth, so if you have to be in range of the camera, it's probably actually quite helpful because I get bored. <laughs> so at least I've got something to do while I'm brushing my teeth. I tend to sort of wander about, around, look out the windows, watch the TV. I find it difficult to stay still when I'm brushing my teeth. Um, position detection, access activity for dental professionals and more, access position detection custom routine, 
So I like to expand content, swipe so left and right to be more. So I guess that's probably what the dentist would use. Activity. That was what we saw um, when you finished the tooth brushing section, session. Achievements, I think you get trophies for brushing your teeth. I don't know if there's a platinum trophy for brushing your teeth, that would be pretty cool. But there's quite a lot of them. Focus Care, Oral Reminders, Power User, Plaque Fighter, Fresh Breath, Professionally Approved, Whitening, Gum Health, Ortho Care, Early Rinser, Lunchtime Brusher, and so on. Will be products. I think that's my old toothbrush. I don't think the new one is listed yet. I've never worked out which toothpaste is the better toothpaste. I just swap between them. I don't really know what the difference is supposed to be. Maybe someone can enlighten me in the comments. <laughs> Professional guidance. Use the settings below to create a customized dental care routine for your patient. So this must be the bit that you give to your dentist and then they can set up the custom settings for you. So what have we got in here? Select specific zones in the mouth for additional care. Add notes to give your patients personalised guidance. So that's quite a detailed diagram of a mouth there. It's got inside of teeth, outside, chewing surfaces, so I guess they can actually be quite specialised of that. Set up reminders. Reminders for flossing, tongue cleaning and rinsing. Recommended products. Appointment reminders. I need to put my appointment in there. My dental care office. I'll add that in later. Uh, timer. I think a count up timer makes more sense because I have a feeling that I brush my teeth for longer than two minutes anyway. I don't wear braces so I'll set that to teeth. Pace of visualisation, four sections or six sections. I guess six sections is going to be more accurate so I will set it to six. Toothbrush sound recognition. When the Bluetooth connection is unavailable, the app will start a session by detecting the sound of your toothbrush when you turn it on. That's pretty cool. I didn't know it could do that, so I guess you don't even really need Bluetooth turned on to use it, which is kind of a bonus if you're worried about your battery, your phone battery. Uh, content. So this must be selecting what you want to see while you are brushing. Weather, calendar, news, featured photos, quotes, photo news, video news, facts. I don't think I want to see my photos or my videos because I'll have seen them all before. That's just um, about the app. Notifications. Brushing reminder. I guess it's going to remind me to brush my teeth. Replace brush head reminder will remind you to replace your brush head every 90 days. I think that my toothbrush head wires out faster than every 90 days. I'm pretty sure it's more like two months. So it will be interesting to see if the pressure guide makes a difference to how long my brush heads last. That would be pretty useful because they're not the cheapest things in the world to replace. Uh, how old is your brush head? It's a new brush head. Uh, yeah, so I put the new sensitive brush head on today. I'm going to crack on with that and see how I go. Uh, I'm going to use it with a 3D white toothpaste. I could have used it with the older style blue toothpaste, but I've been using the 3D white lately, so for consistency I'll carry on with what I've been using. And I think that's everything I can show you in the app. Um, I don't know if there's a home button. No, that's not a button. So I will get to grips with the brush, I will use it a bit, and then I will let you know what I think of it. See you later.